Don't mind me. A bunch of crap. Um, so then, um, oh, I've got a fashion comment to make. Yeah, is it Alyssa's referee top? Uh, no, what was that? It was black and white stripey thing. She looked oh, like yeah. the referee of Gladiators. Oh, God. No, I missed that, unfortunately. Sarah Beth, so she's got her glasses. I need glasses on to demonstrate this. Not the love hearts, though. No, just her regular glasses, her clear framed oh, ones. Oh, readers. So she's wearing those, but she had her fringe. Her fringe is kind of like mine, like she's got long bits there. Tucked underneath the glasses there. I've never seen that look before. What do you think? Hmm. Imagine I've got glasses and you've got your fringe like tucked underneath. Yeah, well, it. it's hair neat. coming out. It's very underneath. neat and tidy. It's quite practical. Mm. I'm not sure about that look. I think that's part of like uh, a sort of nineties aesthetic. Maybe. Is it? Maybe. Ram was saying about the nineties because we were talking about the nineties on the pod last week. She said, Are we? What's "Yeah, about she the said same stuff because of the stuff Hannah wears on that." Ram oh, said, yeah. "Literally everyone in America is dressed nineties at the moment." Yeah. And I said, "To be honest, we never stopped. I don't think." Still the night is in my head. Yeah, in most people it's not. Like, <laughs> there's a very sort of like um, mm. chic 90s resurgence, mm. resurgence, which I think is like Dua Leap is probably part of it. And oh, like yeah. Charlie X, the X. Mm. And all those people. Sort yeah. of bringing it back, those like thin glasses and stuff. And yeah. It's sort of more, it's cooler than the 90s actually were. I feel like it's like uh, the catwalk 90s. I was going to say, the 90s was the best. Yeah, but we were, like, kids, so we weren't really, like, dressing, like... I wasn't like... a kid. I was a teenager. Yeah, but were you wearing double-breasted jackets like Hannah? No, I used to wear, like, my nighty out, like Courtney Love. Yeah. And I used to wear those Spice Girls platform shoes. Oh, did you? Yeah. Even though I didn't like the Spice Girls, I liked the shoes. Helped me see better at gigs. Mm. The Buffalo... Uh, what are they? Buffalo boots. So I think they are yeah. Buffalo, yeah. Let's see. See, we used to do that, all that shit. Anyway, that's irrelevant. So, Alyssa popped up on the screen. Oh, and Jack went, is she still in there? I thought that was worth saying. She is the most boring person on the fucking planet. Go away. Stop hogging what screen was she airtime. On? Pops up on a screen. Fuck knows. My TV screen. Maybe. <laughs> Kyland was offering to go up. Why? Oh, to Tiffany. Yeah, and then Tiffany said, if Alyssa wins... I'll say I'm putting Xavier up if she uses the veto. So if she uses the veto on Sarah Beth, Tiffany will threaten her with putting Xavier up. So Alyssa uh, does not use the veto on Sarah Beth. Okay. <laughs> I um, could tell you had no idea what I was saying. Hang on, have, you, have we talked here about Hannah being guilty about putting Derek guilty. X up? Or oh, is that coming up? Oh, you're obsessed. Your you're obsessed. Go on. Yeah, it probably is, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just... Hold on, I've got a bit more before that. Yeah. Tiffany went, this was for you, to Derek X. And I've put, you both just evicted him. Yeah, this must be the preamble to it. Tiffany and Hannah talking about Derek X. Yeah. She I won this HOH for you. I'm sure he's thrilled. Um, and then Tiffany said, the cookout was formed first and we have unselfishly played for each other. She was trying to comfort Hannah. Yeah, this was uh, quite interesting. It was like, we've all got to go through it. Like, mm. I've got to go through it with Claire. Mm. Derek X won, no, Derek, no, no mm. it's not Derek X, Derek X hasn't got anyone, sorry. Um, oh. Who else? Uh, Hannah, no, um, who else? Got? Oh, fuck's X sake. has got to go through it with Alyssa. Uh, yeah. Um, who else has got other people? Uh, Sarah Beth and Kylan. Yeah, and although. Then Big D and Arza already, had Britney. They're already pissed off at Kylan, though. Mm. Tiffany was. Yeah, she didn't care about that. Um, but Hannah said, if it was not for the cookout, Derek X would definitely be a number one in the game. Well, of course. all of the, Claire would be Tiffany's number one. It would be interesting if there wasn't the cookout to see how the game had actually played out. Mm. Don't you think? But I do... At some point, maybe some break will happen. I think Kylan... It can't. I can't it's going to lose Sarah Beth. No, it won't happen now. It's The only thing we've got to look forward to is the cookout turning on each other and seeing which one goes first. It won't yeah. happen now. It's too late. Claire's primed to go next week. If not, it'll be Alyssa. Then that's it. There's only one left. Only one whitey left. Perhaps Alyssa. I'm holding up for Alyssa to win HOH. Oh, God. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> um, so then I, I said, oh, why is Hannah crying? She shouldn't have sent him home. I started to get some of your sentiment yeah, in me there. you're right, though. Yeah. You're not entitled to cry now. No. And then <laughs> I noticed there was a row of scrunchies on the bed, and I thought, is someone strategizing with those scrunchies? Because it looked like I had them laid out in a certain form uh, like Kylan and his sweet um tiffany was then talking to big d oh he was kissing her yeah. ass big time she was trying to smooth over when they had that argument wasn't she 
And she said, oh... Well, he was, too, I think. They were kind of acting like nothing had happened. Yeah, she was like, we're like siblings, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, uh... And then, Did she say that? Yeah. Ago, it was not the same cloth, yeah, not the same cut nothing. Cut from that old cloth. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then Big D said, in the diary room afterwards, if it wasn't for the cookout, your ass would be done. I'm surprised he didn't call her a bitch while he was at it. To be fair, like, they're as fake as each other yeah. to one another, yeah. so... Oh yeah, he was kissing ass because she's H O H, right? Yeah, uh, making out that he was really happy about it. Yeah, like, oh yeah, you've, you know, I've always had your back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really, the the interesting part is going to come with when all the white people are gone, and who win, which cookout member wins the hate the first H O H when there's only Tiffany cookout out, left? Whatever. Yeah, but what if it's Tiffany? You know, wh- who's going to win that, and who are they going to go after? But that'll be fun. But th- uh, this was the thing I was going to tell you from Judy Girl. I'm glad I remembered now. Yeah. They said there's going to be a triple eviction coming up. And they said if there is a triple eviction, it's going to ruin everything because the cookout, it's going to be like from, I can't remember what they said, like from seven to four or whatever. So it's not going to be like, oh, the cookout have made it to the final six. They're not going to get their moment to kind of celebrate we've made it to the final six. Yeah. Like someone's going to go and then two cookout people will go. So it's will like, that ruin our enjoyment as well? Well, probably because you won't get to we see don't get the... the fight. Yeah, you won't get to see the, I don't know, just the denouement, the, the denouement of the whole thing, you know. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> like the ending, like the, you know, the the crescendo, crescendo, crescendo. crescendo. of the whole thing, uh-huh. you know. Well, that'll be a bit of a wet fart. Yeah, though. but I don't know if they will do a triple eviction. There's not many episodes left though. This is like episode 22, 23, something. It's and only I mean, 30 episodes. Don't forget, we've still got the jury battle back to come. <laughs> no, I heard it's a pre jury battle back and Frenchie's coming back in. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. Apparently, this is another thing I heard on Julie Girl. They said that Big D was talking and he said, Oh, I think Frenchie's going to win America's favourite player. <laughs> is he serious? <laughs> He's Probably. deadly serious. Oh my God. Imagine. After <laughs> having gone that early as well. <laughs> Even not having gone that early. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, so Tiffany was trying to get Derek F to play the Queen of Destiny in this conversation. Mm. She was like, look, you've got to play this competition. You've got mm. to take part. But like next week you can do whatever you want. And that's why he was like, annoyed because he was mm. like, I don't want to be told what to do by Tiffany. Yeah, again. <laughs> so the next thing we have was Tiffany talking to Sarah Beth. And this was an interesting conversation. I thought Tiffany was really trying to put the frighteners on Sarah Beth. And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, oh, DX is my friend, so, you know, you've got to understand that I'm emotional. And uh, she said, oh, it's like, you didn't kill me, but you, you cut, cut off, off my legs. legs. <laughs> and then Sarah Beth goes, oh, sorry, I didn't realise doing that would be, like, cutting off your legs. Yeah. <laughs> like, kind of, I felt that was a sarcastic quote from her. <laughs> it was like um, Tiffany was pinning the blame all on Sarah Beth. Yeah, but Tiffany, Tiffany voted, voted him Derek out. Oh, yeah. And Hannah did. Good so game. fuck good off. Good game, though. Good game, good game. Good game. Oh, right, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought Tiffany was enjoying that, having that power over Sarah Beth there. Tiffany really sort of, it was, I think it was the outfit, the hair, mm. like she just looked like she meant business. And yeah. She really sort of lent into this HOH mm, She had the business suit on. Sarah Beth said it's not exactly true that she didn't send Derek X home to weaken Tiffany's game. Oh, yeah. In the diary room. Yeah. But then she was like, mm, it's kind of, wasn't she? That she kind of did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then Tiffany said she was going to think about what's best for her moving forward. Those aren't words you ever want to hear. Um, so then Tiffany got her HOH room. I think all yeah. I've got here is mm. that she had <laughs> Beyonce on her iPod shuffle that they were all quite oh, excited about. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I, did, I was surprised Tiffany's son was like, is he nearly a teenager? For some reason I thought he was little. He was little. I don't know why. Because you were calling him baby Christian, that's why. <laughs> um, um, yeah, he looked like a sort of mid-teens. Yeah. Um, but he looked quite sweet. And then there was Tiff, something with Pat Tiffany's gran or some shit. Like oh, that. Mama, shout out yeah, Mama Pat. That was it, Mama Pat. We like the, with the token family members, don't we? Yeah, Mama Pat, Grandpa Lou. Oh yeah, th- this is the thing I missed, and <laughs> Grandma Lou, holler. This is the thing I missed, and I bet you fucking miss it too if you've not got anything. Everyone was very excited about something that, oh, it must have been the Beyonce thing. Yeah. I, I missed it, I've said <laughs> I've written, everyone was excited about a snack Tiffany got, but I missed what it was. <laughs> 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 it Just, was the Beyonce. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Oh yeah, Mama, Pat, Tiff's grand who raised her. Okay. Oh, so then, 
the next thing that happened was Sarah Beth took her campaign up a notch. I do admire Sarah Beth going up and trying it a few times. Yeah, she tried it. <laughs> she said she went up and grasped the Tiffany about Alyssa. Oh, and she's she, a liar. She yeah. Said. She said, oh, I didn't want you to think I have loyalty to her. I do not. What did she say Alyssa said about her? Yeah, I've just got that as well. She said, I don't want you to think I'm loyal to her. Yeah. I'm not. And I've it was something like, like the monarchy a minute ago. You oh, just yeah. set up and they were putting. It was something like Alyssa pulled a face or did something when you did something, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah, but no, it was that Alyssa had told Sarah Beth that Tiffany was pissed off about something. Because yeah. it flashed back to it, I think. Mm hmm. Oh, we like a flashback. I don't know. Whatever it was, she was painting her out to be a yeah. liar. And then uh, in the diary, and Tiffany was like, ooh, uh, Alyssa got far, so far under the bus, she's in the ICU right now. Yeah, she's thrown Alyssa <laughs> under the bus so bad she could be dead. <laughs> That's what she said to Hannah. That's what yeah. she said to Hannah afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what did you think of this choice? Tiffany, doing the nominations, wearing the HOH robe. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't really make. I didn't. Yeah, now you say it, it was the red robe. Right? Yeah, I hadn't really realised, but I, I mean, why not? It's a look. You got given that robe. Yeah, but don't you think it's a bit, you know, lording it over people. What next? Wearing a crown? Well, it's hardly. I like Dustin. Like a, a cloak it is just a, a dressing, dressing gown. gown. <laughs> what do they call it? Robe. A robe. A bath robe. <laughs> I want to know something or pontificate about something. Mm. The HH robe. Do you get that one and do you get to take it home with you? Or is it yes. the same one they wash every week? No, because I think it oh. has their name embroidered Oh, does it? it? Yeah, and they get a different colour. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, cause Jack said oh, it's not normally red. And I said, she oh. She got it... red. I think Sarah Beth had like white. Oh, because I said, to, I, I told Jack Run then, because I said, oh, I think it's different colours, different seasons. But No, they just got to showcase the... And the variety of colours you can buy on the CBS website. Ah, uh, can you buy one? Yeah. Uh, can you? Yeah. Oh, I want that. Okay. Listeners, let's hook me up. <laughs> <laughs> I want one. I want a lord around the house like that with my veto around my neck. <laughs> I've got the HH and the veto, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> the golden power of veto, no less. <laughs> um, so, what did, who did she nominate? What did she do? Well, X was on the block regardless because oh, of the yeah. punishment from last week's yeah. task. And then Kyland went up oh, yeah. first. Pre agreed. And Sarah Beth was sitting there like twitching because I think mm. she thought that perhaps she'd managed to get her to the target Alyssa and <laughs> then it came out as Sarah Beth. Mm. Tiffany told Sarah Beth afterwards that Kyland is the target and Sarah Beth said, I really appreciate how candid you've been with me. Um, <laughs> That's good. She hasn't really been that candid with you, to be honest. Tiffany said about the nomination that they are a powerful duo in the house and that she had to mm. make the optimal move to propel herself forward Ooh, in the game, I think she said. Goodness. Um, Talk dirty to me, Tiffany. Did you notice that Carlin <laughs> was making food with rubber, rubber gloves on? No. Like blue gloves on. Was he? Yeah. What, like the thin plastic ones? Yeah, like, sub, like the people in the subway wear. Oh, yeah, was he? Why? Yeah. Sometimes people use that so that their hands don't smell of onions or oh, chilies right. or okay. whatever, or if you want to touch meat. Mm, okay. Big D was wearing them as well later in the episode. Really? That um, was just for sexual reasons, I think. <laughs> 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 um... Oh yeah, so the coin of destiny. I start. They was explaining it. I realised it's like the invisible fucking H O H. Shout out Victoria. Yeah, isn't it? It's the exact same thing. Uh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, but how did Victoria get that? Um, did we give it to? No, she won that. She was voting, it was the counting sure. rocks. It was the counting rocks. Oh bloody task. Yeah, that's well remembered. When she and she fucking turned around at one point and took some prize or something, and then she still won <laughs> yeah. the fuck. God knows how. Um, yeah, but I wish they did oh. the CGI like on Canada. Oh. What do we get? Nothing. It's Claire, yeah, like, says. fucking hair all mad in the diary room. And also, like, the, the distorted voice. That was oh, good. oh, yeah. <laughs> I sadly evoked to evict. <laughs> I sadly evict to evict. But the one thing I was happy about was Tiffany was safe either way. Even if she gets dethroned, she's oh, still yeah. safe. So it wasn't like you could take... The HOH and yeah, and put her up. That down. would be a bit unfair. There's oh. a line, isn't there, with a twist? Yeah, you've got to draw <laughs> the line. The line in the sand. <laughs> Ours's buns are cute, I've said. She had little bun pigtails. Yeah, oh, my dad said they were lopsided, though. Oh, well, yeah. no need to bring it, bring it down like that. <laughs> um, oh, so then we found out who got Bitcoin. Yeah, voted. What the fuck are they called? BB, BB bucks. bucks, not Bitcoin. <laughs> From... From the public, and who got what in their envelopes? 
Any surprises for you this week? Everything's a surprise. So there's no point saying.